Hey, it's Wes, and we are coming back at you again today. Uh, to be honest, this is actually the second or third video I've made today. On days like today, whenever the wife, the kids are not home, I take the opportunity to make a handful of videos because I know for the next couple days, I'm not gonna have the chance to really make videos. And so the release will kind of stagger out and kind of go from there. Now, today we're jumping in. We're going to draft some more Strixhaven. I'm hoping that I can get some good cards to be able to uh, build the deck that I've had in my mind. I've got two different decks I'm wanting to build for standard and uh, best of one for actually ranked. And it's one of those things where a lot of it does come from Strixhaven. So let's jump right in. Of course, we've got the Magic the Gathering Arena assistant up here that's going to help us through this. So let's jump right in. <clears throat> now, as usual, I'll film the draft today. And as I get a chance to do some gameplay, I will... Uh, post that as well um, here in just a moment I need to let my cat out cat break is over as you can see we're still waiting on everybody else to take their seats Ooh. Oh, it's Quill. Need a debate? Wow. This is uh, very interesting. That is a very strong pack. There's a lot of good, solid cards there. Um, hmm. Ooh. I really don't know. <laughs> wow, this is a first. Um, yeah, honestly, this card here, I have never even seen. I'm taking it. Forget about it. I'm taking the card I've never seen before. It doesn't even have a ranking, but I'm just looking at it and I'm like, wait a second. This is, uh, this is a little weird. Counter target spell unless it's controller plays one extra mana. And it's a one drop white of all things. That's a little unusual. Okay, we got Grape Shot. Um, ooh, culmination of studies. There we go. Why are they rating that so low on here? That's weird to me. But I'm taking it. I am going to take that. Because that is actually one of the cards I want in one of my other decks. So as odd as it may sound, I'm actually drafting not just for the draft itself. I'm actually drafting for a deck I am currently building on Defiant Strike. Um, let's see here. I'm thinking and leaning toward lore hold excavation. Rip apart. That is so hard to pass up. These have been some pretty hard choices. I think I'm going to take the Lorehold Apprentice. I'm hoping that Introduction to Annihilation is still there when I come back. There's been a lot of good cards to pick from. I know right now I'm looking uh, red, white. We got a little bit of black, a little bit of blue but mostly red-white. I was hoping to even pull maybe one of the dragons, but I don't see that happening so far. Fracture. I love that card. Holy cow. Um, 
Rutha. I love Rutha. I've got a ton of her. And I'm not just drafting for this, but I am drafting for the next one. Hmm. Man, I think I'm gonna have to go with that guy. I know it's weird to pass up Rutha, but I think it was the right call. Introduction of Prophecy, Lorehold Campus. Strategic Planning. Man, I think I'm gonna take the campus. Especially considering how much uh, red wide I'm getting in this. Hall Modder is still here. Umbral Juke is still here. Wow, I'm taking Umbral Juke because I've so only have just one or two of those. Let's see, Access Tunnel. Love this card. Lower Drop Rescuer. really fits into the red white that it's looking like I am going to be going. Um, I can't believe Grape Shot's still there. Holy cow. Ah, I can't let it go this time. Let's see. Go with Introduction to Prophecy. A little bit of card draw and scrying is never a bad thing. Teach by example is very, very situational, and you've got to have the mana to actually pull it off. I'm going to go with Spiteful Squad. Let's see, Fracture. Wow. How did that go to the very last? Primal Command. What is this? That's the two. Ah! This is the card I want. And this here is just. <clears throat> oh, man. I have no idea. Uh, I know which one I want. I'm taking the Elite. I know that the Primal Command would be great, but I'm going with what my original game plan is. Um, here we've got Thunderous Order is, is a good card. Um, this, this card here, I have got her, and I just... I don't know. She's just... Very, very... Um, yeah. Yeah. She's just very, yeah. That is the best way to put it. We got Shock, which is awesome. Uh, we got another Umbral Juke, of all things. We got Dina. Not gonna lie, I really, really feel like we have just... That every color has been kind of open to us, in a way. But the thing is, whenever every color is open to you... No color is open to you because that means there's nothing that's just screamed off the page and said, you have got to take this card now. So it kind of makes me wonder that maybe I'm uh, overlooking something. Hmm. I've got to remember that I'm also trying to win a draft as best I can, of course. Uh, I'm thinking the black green is probably out at, for me at this point. Because um, that is one color I have not had that much of uh, coming through for me. Got Professor of Zoomancy. Wow. That's a solid card. Um. Hmm. 
I'm going to take the professor. Take revitalize. Um, it's just one of those things where the red white's been very, very open to me. Killer drop rescuer. Or do we go? Yeah, I think we'll take that now. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here, we got Dragon's Approach, we've got Pop Quiz, Agonizing Remorse, Prismari Pledge Mage, let's go with Agonizing Remorse. We've got Stonebound Mentor, He's okay. We're going to take the campus. I think we'll take Lorehold Campus. And of these three here, the right choice is probably to revitalize. And I'm going to go with Dragon's Approach. All right. Let's see what we got next. Harness Infinity. All right, then. Now, I know, oh, man. There was a situation where Harness Infinity um, doesn't really fit what I've been drafting so far. And this card here is a very, very rock-solid card, but I've got to pick it up. Uh, the fact that, you know, being free to play, it changes the way you have to do these drafts. You can look at the way that they're rated and realize, what am I drafting for? Well, I'm drafting not only to actually play and try to win additional cards, but I'm also drafting for not just this game, but to be able to build decks as well. Uh, Prismari Apprentice. Oh, I need one of him. So, yeah, I'm taking it. Sorry. I need one more of him to complete that red-blue deck I've been working on. Ooh, Killian. Oh, my gosh. I think I've got plenty of Killians. Hmm. Man. You know, I think I'm going to pick up the the general dramatic finale. Okay. I have got this card already and I just don't know. Um, I don't really see anything here. It's screaming that I need to take this card. Uh, Lash of Malice is good. Real Discovery. It's okay. Let's go with Lash of Malice. All right, we still got Heated Debate to us. Um, letter of acceptance is nice. Elemental summoning would work also. We've got Lorehold Campus. I think that's going to be the right choice. We'll go with Star Pupil. I 
let's see. It's saying 10 the pest, but okay, I guess it's 10 the pest. I just wasn't pulling the tr trigger quick enough. Why is Killian still here? That is weird. I'm going to have to take him. Maybe I could splash a little bit of black in here. Hmm. Well, I would have got one of these uh, Prismari Prentices anyways. Um, academic Dispute, I think. Stonebound Mentor. And Resculpt. All right, there is uh, what we are going to be working with. Um, probably red, white, very likely, lore hold. But there is a good chance that as I look through this, I may be uh, splashing another color or uh, looking at some other options as well. Just change your hand and your graveyard. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's say you know you got only... One card in hand, but there's like 10 in your graveyard. It's not bad. Instant speed, no less. Wow. This I love. The fact I was able to get one of those. All right, so uh, I'm going to put together a deck over the next day, two days, and I'll bid a little bit of, uh, as long as the deck kind of works, it's worth watching to play out. Because I'm not going to lie, whenever I drafted this, there was a handful of cards I was hoping to see pop up. A couple of those did pop up. And so whenever they did, I went ahead and took them. Like, for instance, the Dragon's Guard Elite. But here I am looking at this, and I'm like, well, I'm mostly going to be playing probably red-white. Dragon's Guard Elite probably is not going to make the cut for this specific deck. I got a couple of Professor of Zoomancy. And, you know, once again, probably not making the cut for this deck. So I'm going to have to narrow it down and kind of go from there, and we will... Uh, and if it's worth playing out, you know, I'll record it if it's uh, really not that good. I'll probably just not upload it. But in the meantime, I appreciate you tuning in with me, and I hope you all have a great day.